hello to all the wonderful humans how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well and welcome i am aboli and i make science based skin care and hair care videos if you are interested in that space then consider subscribing to my channel so today's video is going to be a product review and i am going to review this product from dot and key it is their ahx exfoliating sleeping mask with 12% lactic acid and 2% hyaluronic acid so let's begin Before starting with the review I would like to share the correspondence that I had with Dot and Key uh, so 3 weeks back or so they uh, sent me a mail and in that mail they have actually written explanation as to why they had the blind sale as you guys know I did make a video on that because I thought it was quite problematic that a brand was actually putting up a blind sale without people actually knowing what the ingredients are and dotton ki actually sent me a mail regarding the same and they actually gave an explanation saying that they thought blind sale would work because they were using niacinamide as the ingredient and niacinamide works on all skin types so they thought it would be good to keep niacinamide as the ingredient of the blind sale and as a token of goodwill they did send me three products out of which the 12% lactic acid and 2% hyaluronic acid is one of the product they also sent me their lip combo which i'm going to review soon and in the mail they have explicitly written that they want an honest review so this is not sponsored in any way it is not scripted in any way it is just a pr product because i wanted to be transparent with you guys i'm sharing the correspondence let's talk about the packaging can you see her difference in their packaging well i can this was the old packaging and this is a new packaging they have just changed the skirt this was kate middleton skirt and they have changed it to marilyn monroe skirt i think after the fruitia tragedy they thought of changing it let's move on to the price the price of the product is 995 for 60 ml it comes in a glass bottle like jar with a plastic cup and it also comes with this small spatula which is good to remove the product without contaminating the whole tub so let's start with the packaging if you are new here and this is your first review uh, on this channel i usually read the packaging and the ingredient list and compare if the two actually match and if the claims that are made by the brand actually match with the ingredient list and the results after using the product so let's start with what's written on the packaging so it is an exfoliating ahx exfoliating sleeping mask which is great it is definitely ahx exfoliating mask it, it has 12% lactic acid however right here they have written that it is a pineapple and borage flower uh, mask with lactic acid and i don't really agree with that because those two are like the last ingredients in the ingredient list so i'm not sure if you are actually getting any effects from the pineapple and borage flower extract then they have written it's a overnight peel it also has moisture binding formula which is 100% true now i strangely enough i haven't used only lactic acid products in the past i have used lactic acid but in a uh, conjunction with other ahas and when i looked into a lactic acid i was shocked because lactic acid is such a beneficial uh, exfoliating hydrating acid i had no idea and i am going to come to that when i discuss the uh, ingredient list but it is definitely a moisture binding formula and it does not have any nasty chemicals you guys know uh, how i feel about that i don't believe in like these just open terms what does no nasty chemicals even mean and this product has fragrance so i consider fragrance as a nasty chemical in skin care so that's quite a relative term then let's come to what's written here the description of the product an overnight mask made with natural ahas and hyaluronic acid that helps loosen the bonds between dead cells and your skin reveals newer healthier bouncy skin with which is super smooth and hydrated now i know that dotton ki absolutely loves to use the word natural no nasty chemicals toxin free type of things however I don't know where they have sourced that 12% lactic acid from like the active lactic acid is it synthetic is it natural I don't know that so not quite sure about the natural AHAs 
it does have hyaluronic which is great now uh, the point that it helps to loosen the bonds between dead cells and your skin is true because lactic acid does that and it also reveals newer healthier bouncy skin obviously it is an exfoliating peel so that is also true and it also leaves you your skin smooth and hydrated which is absolutely true like from my personal experience it definitely smoothens out your skin and definitely hydrates your skin because it has 2% hyaluronic acid also it is quite gel like in texture okay if you can see it is it is like jelly so when you put it on your skin like you you can see it's very light it's incredibly light however it is a sleeping mask so it absolutely does not get uh, absorbed in your skin it's going to sit on your skin like that so you can see it's very light but it also is like an occlusive that makes it a bit tricky to include it in your skincare routine according to them you should use it as the last step of your skincare routine don't really agree with that because i cannot apply this on an you know like a thick emollient because it this will never get past that into my skin so what i did was i uh, after washing my face i just applied this uh, on my skin just that and in the morning i didn't feel that my skin was quite dehydrated or dry however when i did the same for my mom my mom's skin is dry and mature skin even for her just application of this worked however i'm not quite sure how it would uh, work for other people so what i would suggest you guys uh, should do is that uh, clean your face uh, wipe it dry apply this wait for 15 to 20 minutes and then on top of that i would suggest uh, application of any emollient or occlusive whatever you guys use let's come to the ingredients the first ingredient is water the second ingredient is lactic acid and it has 12% lactic acid now when i was researching about lactic acid i was blown away because i had no idea that lactic acid is such a, a beneficial exfoliating acid Now lactic acid is a part of natural moisturizing factor which includes amino acids urea esters and sugars which actually are intensely hygroscopic meaning they take water from the atmosphere and put it back into your skin we know it as humectants and lactic acid is a great exfoliating humectant meaning it will exfoliate your skin and also add hydration in your skin i don't think it can get better than this right also it has pleiotropic effects meaning it helps in skin renewal it in anti aging again a great beneficial property to have now in a research study which was done on 5% lactic acid and 12% lactic acid they saw that in the people on whom 5% was used they saw dermal changes and on the people uh, on whom 12% was used they saw dermal and epidermal changes and when it comes to skin issues they actually saw reduction in fine lines wrinkles and also photo damage i mean this is unbelievable that it's an exfoliating acid which can hydrate which gives anti aging properties and also exfoliates your skin so amazing now in a four week study that was done on lactic acid it was observed that the ceramide percentage actually increased in the skin meaning that lactic acid actually helps in strengthening of skin barrier i absolutely love skin barrier friendly ingredients love it in that study they also uh, measured the trans epidermal water loss and they saw that after usage of lactic acid the water loss decreases and your skin is nicely hydrated so amazing exfoliating acid now in another study that was done on 8% lactic acid now this is a pivotal study when it comes to lactic acid it was seen that it actually helped with hyperpigmentation with the roughness of the skin and with photo damage which is amazing that lactic acid works on all of these things now we have definitely come to a conclusion that lactic acid is a great exfoliating acid to have and 12% lactic acid is a percentage that has been researched upon and the effects have been seen so the percentage is also great it has 2% hyaluronic acid which is also a humectant great for hydration now let's come to the results that i got and my mom got now uh, i've used it thrice and my mother has also used it thrice at night 
and visibly you can see changes in the morning like for my mother she actually you know felt that her skin was smoother i could see that you know she has this nice glow on her skin which is great for me however i did notice that my skin is much smoother in the morning i haven't seen a lot of changes in my dark spots as i've just used it thrice and that is something that i get from exfoliation in general also like smooth skin is something that i get from exfoliation in general so uh, nothing great but i would say that my skin is you know soft and supple in the morning when i use this my mother loves this it's actually gone in her uh, vanity it really suits her skin uh, you can actually see that her skin is has this bounce it actually uh, somehow you know makes your skin a bit more younger so if you're looking uh, for a skincare product for your parents uh, to you know help uh, start with anti-aging then i would recommend lactic acid and i would recommend this product the other ingredients are cyclopentosiloxane dimethicone and dimethicone cross polymer all are silicones which you know give the uh, silicone uh, you know texture uh, like the slip that we get it's because of that it also has glycerin and hyaluronic acid we know both of them are humectants then it has butylin glycol which is a good fatty emollient go works for hydration then it has um, some viscosity controlling agents which is good then it has perfume absolutely unnecessary Part. so that's not a percentage of a fragrance that i want in my skincare routine at all then we have two ingredients that i was blown away with like not in a good way and they are the ci42090 and ci45430 i had no idea what these ingredients were absolutely no idea so i had to go uh, to inky decoder to see what they were and to my shock they are colorants they actually used color to get this purplish uh, color that they have uh, of the product and that really made me sad because i don't want perfume i don't want color in my skincare routine and when i researched about these two ingredients i thought that they are really bad for the skin but when i researched about it these two ingredients are quite safe to use in cosmetics and there aren't any uh, studies that uh, are against it saying that they are irritants or allergens in any way so i guess they are comparatively safer to use but again unnecessary according to me that's with the ingredient list two ingredients absolutely unnecessary otherwise i like the ingredient list and the preservatives used are also good so that's it with the video guys i hope you like the video and i hope you are liking the new setting oh uh, background setting and uh, camera and audio setting everything is a bit new uh, so excuse me if i make a few mistakes in the process and that's it until next time bye